All right, time to switch it up, talk some weather with Chief Meteorologist Bill Graw. Well, we had uh, one clipper system last night early this morning, kind of made for a messy morning commute. Uh, believe it or not, another one, almost a repeat performance uh, late tonight into tomorrow morning. So keep that in mind for that Friday morning commute. Skies are clear right now, all is quiet. Uh, we're kind of between systems and our high today was 27 degrees after a morning low of 11, 27 and 10 are the averages, 54 and 25 below the records for today. Now, Precipitation wise, uh, anywhere from a half an inch to about an inch and a half uh, with this latest clipper system uh, since midnight, 0 0.04 inches of liquid and six tenths of an inch of snow. Currently 13 degrees out at the airport and uh, the winds are fairly light. That's something else that's going to change overnight and into tomorrow morning. Those winds are really going to pick up as this is just a classic clipper system bringing a round of light snow, uh, a lot of wind and some much colder air behind it as well. Eau Claire, good evening to you folks. 11 degrees feels like zero though with a south to southwest breeze at about five to 10 miles per hour. So we're kind of in a little cold pool here, but some warmer temperatures to our west, some warmer temperatures relatively speaking to our south and east as well. Most of us in the teens, but notice some single digits over in Rochester and Preston, uh, Decorah as well. Winds again, not overly strong right now, generally from the southwest at about five to 10, causing some slight wind chills in the single digits in many spots, even a couple degrees below zero for our friends in southeastern Minnesota. We could see some single digits uh, below zero for a time overnight before those clouds thicken in advance of this clipper system. Again, all is quiet right now, but uh, already some snow entering far western Minnesota. And again, these things are really moving in terms of this uh, storm system. So it's going to zip in and snow will develop quickly and then move out quickly as well. In fact, uh, let's time it out on Sky Tracker for you. Clouds thicken this evening. Here comes the snow after about one o'clock in the morning in our far western communities and then into most areas by drive time tomorrow. So I'm going to have tomorrow morning an alert day, if you will, kind of a soft one uh, just because of travel impacts, not only because of the snow, much like we saw this morning, but notice the winds really blowing from the south and southwest, and that's going to be kind of a dry, fluffy snow, so that may rearrange the snow pretty easily and cause some travel impacts into tomorrow. Now, skies remain cloudy for uh, the midday hours, might see some partial clearing as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Then on Saturday, another disturbance, this time tracks by to our south, with a chance of snow and we may see uh, some snow make it as far as north as uh, say central communities, maybe I-90 and south. We'll have to watch that one closely as we head into the weekend. So snow tracker for this round tonight, very similar to what we saw last night, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch, maybe an inch and a half as it uh, scoots through quickly uh, late tonight into our Friday morning. Temperatures tomorrow, uh, not too bad. Upper uh, 20s to lower 30s for most, right around freezing in the cross. Again, that's about 5 degrees above average. Uh, some 29s in Westby and Viroqua, 33 for you folks in Linksville, 34 in Prairie du Chien, 31 in Blair and Melrose, Black River Falls, 28 for you folks in Osseo, and up to the north, right around 28 for Chippewa Falls, Altoona, and Eau Claire. So for tonight, clouds increase, snow develops after midnight or 1 a.m. Lows in the cross around 12 this evening, then temperatures will actually rise overnight. Uh, snow tomorrow, breezy as well. Uh, decreasing clouds in the afternoon. That snow should be out of here by about lunchtime, 32 for the high. And then here comes the cold, that chance of snow on Saturday, especially south with highs in the teens. And then the rest of the uh, week ahead, teens and single digits for highs. Uh, there are some indications that we're not going to be as cold as what we were thinking earlier, but uh, either way you slice it, plenty cold with single digits and teens and overnight lows in the single digits below zero. I guess we... Uh would have had to enjoy the mild weather while we had it here in January. Yeah, we, huh? we were due because it's been a mild month so far. So more often than not, Mother Nature kind of balances things out. So mm -hmm. uh, and, and like I said, we are due with those temperatures in the single digits and teens. And it's been a while since we dropped below zero for those overnight lows. And uh, that's definitely in the cards as we head into next week. And of course, the snowfall isn't so bad. I mean, we're talking inch accumulation. Last night was actually kind of picturesque as we were leaving the station last yeah, night. But it was also a perfect example of how it doesn't take much snow to really cause some slick roads. Uh, I don't know about your drive home last night and then the, the morning commute for some. Main roads were decent shape, but some of those side streets were uh, a little slick. Yeah, always good to be careful out yes. there for sure. Thank you so much, okay. Bill.